Good day, everybody. I was going to show you today a few Excel skills, uh, mostly about how we can do some simple calculations inside of Excel, um, how we can format some things, and maybe even convert you to thinking that Excel might be a good tool to be able to use to show your work. Uh, a lot of this class is done in software, and we need some places where we can actually, you know, show our work, uh, maybe do a few calculations, and Excel is a great place where we can do that. Um, and one of the main reasons is because, like, I can click and actually see what your calculations are. Uh, so let's do just some simple calculations real quick, uh, and maybe we want to uh, to do some manipulation, and let's kind of just dive in. So. At its most basic, uh, Excel can do some, you know, basic math. So, you know, we can do like uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And how we do each of these is we first start off with an equal sign. Equal sign tells Excel that we are doing some sort of calculation. So if we're going to do addition, we can literally type in, you know, 2 plus 5, and then we can hit enter, and it's 7. Now the nice thing is, is that if I want to go back and look at how did I get this number, I can double click on it, and it pulls up that we did 2 plus 5. Uh, and we can do the same thing for subtraction, you know, 8 minus 4, do that. Multiplication, we can do 7 times 6. Uh, and be sure that you're using the, ast the actual, like, that little asterisk symbol, uh, shift 8 uh, is how you get it. Or if you've got a number pad, you can just type it in there. And division, once again, same thing. We can do 5 minus, or sorry, 5 divided by, you know, 10. And that's going to give us 0.5. So uh, Excel does, you know, all of your basic uh, equations. Uh, we can do more complicated things, too, uh, like... Do we want to know how to take the square root? Oops. There we go. Square root. Can we do that? The answer is, of course we can. So we can hit equals, and there's a couple different ways that we could get the square root. So let's say that we're looking for the square root of, uh, oh, I don't know. We'll do 49, uh, which we know is 7. And so we can just do the square root, and what you type is just SQRT. Uh, as long as you have the correct letters, you don't need to type it out in capital capitalization. Um, it'll take care of that for you, but you do have to type it out correctly. So that's how you do the square root, and we can do the square root of 49. And then you, if you see a parenthesis like this, you need to be able to, you have to close it, and that tells uh, Excel that we are doing the square root of everything that's on the inside of that number. Uh, or inside of those parentheses. So we've got the square root of 49, and we got that. Now we could do other things too, like what if we want to do the square root of 5 plus uh, 8? Could we do that? Answer is yes. It's going to take the square root of, oh, that's going to be 13. So it can do calculations inside of those parentheses too. Um, now remember as well, like if you want to do the square root, you can also just put, you know, parentheses. 49, and then we can raise it to the power of 0.5. That'll give you the square root. If we're looking for 49, square root of 49. Those, those both give you 7. Two different ways uh, to get our square root. All right, now I kind of gave the next one away, but if we're looking for the power of something, often we want to say like, you know, 4 squared or something like that. So we could do equals 4 uh, raised to the power of 2. So that's 4 squared. Um, that little caret symbol, you get it by pushing shift and then 6. That's how you get that little square symbol. And that'll give us uh, 16. So there are all sorts of things that, that we can do there. Um, we do need to make sure that we are taking care of like order of operations, right? So like we can, let's say, let's suppose we have this equation. Okay, so let me type out just a simple equation where it's going to be, uh, let's do five, and then we go like, how am I gonna do this? Yeah, we'll do like five divided by seven. 
and then we're going to do plus uh, three times and then we'll do like six minus two okay so there are a few problems here right we don't know where the uh, where the different division spot or where the breakpoints are because there are no um, there are no parentheses here right this equation is really ambiguous how we make this not ambiguous is by adding in parentheses so let's say that I wanted to take five sevenths and I want to add it to three times six minus two so we have to be really careful about parentheses and Excel follows order of operations religiously so that's, that's what we're going to have to use so if we're going to do that equation once again we just type the equal sign and then we can just do this 5 divided by 7 plus 3 times 6 minus 2 and it can do all of that in a single go so Excel is super useful, especially when we get to some of like our probability sections or where we're dealing with frequency tables. Uh, Excel can help us by being able to, this is a great way for you to show your work to me. I could like, let's say that this was your work and this was your answer. And let's say this answer was wrong, but I wanted to see, it's like, how did you get this? I could double click on it and be like, oh, you misinterpreted this equation. Let's suppose that instead of doing that, you did this and you got 16 and when I clicked in it I would say oh you just missed some parentheses and I can give you partial credit uh, so Excel is a great way once again for you to show your work anyhow so that's kind of where I wanted to start uh, is just showing how Excel uh, can be used to do uh, basic calculations